another television series that's been adapted into a video game. For a long time, that's been the mark of disaster, but with other television slash written properties like The Walking Dead being adapted with great success, maybe the Game of Thrones will avoid the common blunder of being a rushed and clunky product. Or maybe it won't. Get in the house! Now! The game opens up with Moore's Westford, a man who has taken the black, a form of punishment if you don't follow the novels or television show, and he has been posted at the wall. At first, he may seem like a one-dimensional character, but he quickly developed to be one of my favorites. The other half of the story is told from the perspective of Alistair Sarwick. He's the oldest son of Hell Sarwick and returns home after abandoning his family 15 years prior. He makes it just in time to attend his father's funeral and give him a kiss. That's not weird. The two explore vastly different set pieces as the story elements of the first novel, A Game of Thrones, takes place all around them. As you progress through the story, you'll notice that a lot of care has been put into the characters and their backstories in Game of Thrones. I don't mean the voice acting, textures, or animations, but the actual story here is quite superb. It's just and delivered with the emphasis of a 7th grade drama student that. reading a story in front of a classroom. These riots very nearly destroyed River Spring. Everything seems like it's said with the exact same level of emphasis during your 30 hour romp, and it really detracts from what would otherwise be an utterly entertaining tale with twists and turns. It's not just a presentation that detracts from the game's strengths. It's also laziness, such as groups of three character models that are exactly the same used during in-game cutscenes, and conversations that you'll appear to have with... Uh, smoke. I think I'm having a conversation with smoke here. That's the real problem. Every single time you encounter a compelling moment, it'll be hindered by a muddy texture, drably delivered line, or some other bug that completely takes you out of the moment. Characters from the television show look awful, and the music, when it's not cutting out before looping, is completely forgettable. One of the few strengths of the entire experience is the combat, which features a surprisingly robust amount of options that you can build your character with. In execution, you'll begin by slowing down the battle by tapping the L1 or R1 button. Here, enemies will be moving in slow motion but still coming towards you, keeping the intensity up, and you'll have to set all the attacks that you and your allies will do to this group of enemies. After a few encounters, however, you'll realize that you're only using three or four attacks over and over again. Knock someone down, make them bleed, stab the wound, or knock someone down, make them bleed, set them on fire. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Also, you can't load during a battle, so if you've made a mistake or lost a character during an escort mission, you'll have to wait until you're beaten to death to restart, which is obviously incredibly frustrating. The other portion of gameplay is a few dialogue choices that you can make which will have a major effect on the outcome of your story. Without spoiling anything, I can tell you that what the writers did with the two main characters near the end of the game is a truly unique and interesting set of moments. The crowd's wish is my command. No offense. It's a shame that most will not have the patience to endure the 20 or so hours of bad game to get to the really juicy story moments. The twists that are thrown are guaranteed to surprise. Unfortunately, you'll need to wade through an often ugly, buggy, and poorly delivered mess to get to them. The good parts of the game just make the ugly ones stand out even more, and though the plot is there, you have to trudge through a lot of mud to get any enjoyment out of it. Anyway, for more on mud, go to a hell spa. For more on the Game of Thrones, including the much better TV show, head to IGN.com.